your last power bill? How many kilowatt hours did you use? And is that high or low compared to what you thought it would be? And if you can't answer that question, don't feel too bad about it. Most of us can't. And utilities aren't built that way. They're built to be, meet the maximum demand we put on them, called peak, which happens between 6 and 9 a.m. on cold winter mornings when we're all heating up our house and getting ready for the day at the same time. But it's not a very smart business model. New Brunswick Power estimates that 20% of their infrastructure, the power plants and poles, is only used 1% of the time. It's environmentally unfriendly, it's costly, and it's got to stop. So how is NB Power stopping this? Well, they're implementing a program called Reduce and Shift Demand to convince you, their customers, to reduce the amount of power you use and shift it off that peak. Now, most customers are skeptical when a company asks them to use less of their product, but not so for utilities. See, the less peak, the less infrastructure you have to support. NB Power predicts a cost avoidance of $927 million if this works. That's two fewer power plants they have to rebuild and a lot less fossil fuel that they have to buy and burn. So reduce and shift demand becomes a very high stakes change management strategy to convince customers to get on board. The best method, according to Fisk, is to remind you of the cost savings on your power bill, remind you that it's environmentally friendly, and remind you of the societal good. But on the flip side, the barriers presented by Thorne Holst is that there's a lot of upfront costs to be energy efficient. You have to know a lot about how energy is used in order to make those decisions. And also, our society prescribes to us a certain level of comfort and convenience that electricity provides. I'm going to be using those two theories, the barriers and the benefits, to understand how New Brunswick Power is engaging with their customers and whether they'll succeed. But I'm also going to be looking at how MB Power makes sense of this change. This decades-old public utility is going from electricity provider to energy partner and advisor with their customers. What is the fine line for them between energy as a public good and electricity as goods and services bought and sold? Uh, I'll be looking at how they make sense of their past, present, and future in text to understand how they're going to be, whether they're going to be successful. In an interview marking his 80th birthday, David Suzuki talked about how he and his fellow environmentalists have failed because they're still fighting the same battle they thought they were won 30 years ago. This is the same battle that NB Power is fighting now. But rather than thinking about it as a battle, perhaps we should be thinking of it as a partnership with customers to reduce and shift demand and to do the right thing.